Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on selecting a specified cell from a range using Excel VBA. As always, if you find this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here in this Excel worksheet fictitious data that I'll be using for this example. I've constructed a user form in the Visual Basic Editor that will help me to demonstrate how to select a specified cell from this range. So I'll move over to that now. That's Alt F11, Visual Basic Editor. And I have just this one line of code here under Sheet 1, main.show. Main is the name of the user form. This subroutine is associated with the orange rectangle on this data worksheet. I right-click here and move down to Assign Macro, Sheet 1.OpenForm. So clicking here will open the user form main. So moving back to the Visual Basic Editor, here to the top left, click on main. This brings up the user form that I built and it has four controls on it. It has a ref edit control, which allows the user to select a reference, two text box controls and one command button. The text box controls and the command button are on this toolbox. By default, the ref edit control needs to be added to this toolbox, which can be done by going up to Tools, Additional Controls, and then in this Additional Controls dialog, you would check off ref edit dot control. That'll add this to the toolbox and it can be dragged onto this user form just like any other control. So I'm going to use this user form to select a range on that data worksheet. And I'm going to use text box 1, this text box on the left, to specify a row number, and text box 2 on the right to specify a column number. When I press this Enter Command button, the cell at the specified row and column in the selected range will be selected. So I have the code window for this user form already open here in the background. To get to it otherwise, you would right click, go to view code. And you can see by default, it brings this private sub user form click. I'm gonna delete that. And I'm gonna paste in here two subroutines. The first one is just to change the color of the cell that's selected to make it easier to see for this video. So this is private sub background color. RNG is range. And then with range interior, going to change the color to red. So that's what this subroutine does. Then for the second subroutine, I'm going to go to this user form and double click that enter command button. That's command button one. And I'm going to paste in this code to start with. So I'm going to declare RNG is range, STR is string, R for row is integer, and C for column as integer. I'm going to set the row value to the text box 1 value, and the C, the column value, to the text box 2 value. And then because I want to use the ref edit control to select a range, I'm going to set str to equal that ref edit value then set range to equal range str so after this I want to select the cell at the coordinates given by the value in text box 1 and 2 the row and column I'm going to paste this code in just these two lines of code now this first line is just to shade that cell red so it can be seen easier and that calls this subroutine up here so I'm going to focus on the second line of code so this is rng range dot item r comma c dot select so just to demonstrate how this works move back over to the worksheet open up the user form click into the ref edit control and I'm going to select all the cells from B4 
down to D11. So 41 is at the top left, 17 at the bottom right. For the row, I'm going to set this at 3, row 3, for the column, column 2. Three rows, two columns. Press Enter, and we can see it's moved to the third row. So the first row would be 41, the second 39, the third 57, and then two columns. The first column is 57, the second is 108. So coordinates 1, 1, that's equal to the cell in the top left of the range. So I'll close this and reset the background color here. Move back to the Visual Basic Editor. So this is the code that will select that specified cell. However, you don't need the dot item in here. So if I delete that, and I'm just going to leave it the same up here for this call background color. But if I delete that here, and I go back to the worksheet, again just select a range, I'll select that same range. This time I'll enter coordinates 1, 2, row 1, column 2, press enter, it still works. Do not need the item to be in there. So it can just be the range and then the row and column. We can also use this code with just an integer. So instead of two integers, as I have here, row and column, you can just use one integer. So to demonstrate this, I'm first going to comment out this C equals text box 2 value. Comment that out using an apostrophe. So you can see it turns green, so this line of code will not execute now. And I'm going to copy the code I have here, calling the background color and selecting that range and then comment these two lines of code out as well. Paste in what I've just copied and I'm going to set this background color and delete this item and take out the column. So it's just range R. I'll do the same thing here for the select so it's just range R select. So just one integer instead of both the row and column. So let's see how this works on the worksheet. I'm going to open up the user form. And using the ref edit control, I'm going to select a 3 by 4 range of cells. So from B5 down to D8. And again, nothing would be specified here in Textbox 2, just in the row text box. I'm going to enter 4. And you can see it selects this 57 value, cell B6. And that's because this counts. So I close this. 1, the cell B5, 2 for C5, 3 for D5, and then 4 is B6. So using just the one variable, it'll move left to right, a row down, left to right, and so on. I hope you found this video on selecting a specified cell from a range with Excel VBA to be useful. Thanks for watching.